Welcome back to the course of Microsoft PowerPoint. Well, in this course, what we're going to learn about is how we're going to add in background sounds in your presentation. Well, obviously, in presenting a presentation, sometimes having some sound is like having a cherry on top. Maybe like if you have a lot of like a big of a slide, having a sound or maybe a background sound or a music is sometimes really soothing and keeps the interest of the viewers. Well, to do that, I'm going to show you how you can do that. So an example I also have right here. You can see that there were some small sounds which you heard while changing the slides. Okay. So how are we going to do that? Well, that is quite simple. But before that, what you have to learn about is all the basics of Microsoft PowerPoint. Well, obviously, you're going to have to add transition, designs, insert, home, use a lot of like these tools, which you can use and making the PowerPoint presentation a lot more interesting, like adding more shapes, objects, a lot more and adding in new slides and several shortcut keys, which are also quite important, which you have to learn before going into advanced PowerPoint presentation tools and making your PowerPoint presentation a lot more interesting. Well, before that, what we're going to learn about is this adding background sound or having a background music. So first off, what we need first is some slides. Well, as you can see that there are a lot of slides. Well, these are some default slides, which I'm using right now because uh, we, you can also use like extra slides by adding in more slides from here. But I use this default slides because this is already made and you can do the same steps to apply it to your presentation. Well, as you can see that I have 15 slides right here. Well, among these 15 slides, I'm going to add some transition and music on them. So first thing you first thing what you have to do to add in some more sound and music in your slides is firstly, what we're going to do is go to transition tab. And in there, you can see that at the right side in timing, there is this option called sound. Well, how are you going to add those sound? Well, when you click on the sounds, you will see that there are a lot of sounds which you can select from. Well, obviously you need to have a transition added. Then you can like drag over whichever one you want right here. And then press on preview and you will see there are a lot of sounds which you can select from and you will them and also hear what they sound like like here see and if you want to change the duration you can also do that yes if you want it more faster well that's also doable see so that is how you can add in some sounds you can also like preview a lot of them and if you don't want any of like the sounds from here, you can just click on other sounds. It's going to open up this pop up window. Okay. Which is also your folders, which you can select your slides from whichever file or whichever drive you have your sound, just select on it. And then it will just show you the slide or the sound, which you want to select from, then select the slide or select the sound and then just press on open. Make sure to keep on audio files, but if it doesn't show up, just click on all files and then select a sound. Another thing what you can do is make a sound loop until the next one. How are you going to do that? When you click on or maybe add a sound to it, an example, I'm going to preview it. You can like make it loop until you go to the next slide. So what we're going to do is click on loop until next slide. Now it's going to like keep on looping the sound. Let's go to presentation mode. So it's going to make the sound again and again until you go to the second slide. See? So it's going to make the sound again and again and you don't have to worry about it. Okay? But I prefer using like sounds which you can download from your online because these sounds are like a bit more like old outdated but maybe some of them are like a bit usable. But pr people nowadays obviously prefer like a soothing sound or maybe like interesting sounds maybe sometimes a bit dramatic, sometimes soothing, sometimes a bit classic. Well, all of those all together, well, makes the sound or makes the slide or the presentation 
a lot more interesting and make sure to select the sound according to your presentation category well that is also a point now what we're gonna do is yeah that is also already done you can change the duration now another thing if you want to apply it all to the slides what you can do is just click on apply to slides or apply to all if you apply to all the same transition and the same sound and the same way of the sound being played will be applied to all of the slides now let's go to five see all of them will contain the same type of sound in the same type of manner see so this is how apply to all works but if you don't want to just click on undo and it will just be applied on this one see it will just go right back okay that is why redo and undo is like really important in powerpoint presentation and while working on it next thing what we're going to learn about is effect option if you want like effect option like this okay you can also do that words and characters if you can also do ca characters like this and you will see that obviously the characters now change if you want to change the words yes that is also doable but i prefer objects and characters more because this looks a bit more interesting than just objects but objects is also important because it changes the shapes that's it or maybe like slides on really smoothly and makes it a lot more interesting so keep that in mind and another thing what we have also here is called the advanced slide option now the advanced slide so how does this work if you want to add in advanced or like slides like how you're gonna do it like it's gonna change the slide according to the time okay so you can first off what you can do is go to recording or maybe like go to slideshow and then record your script or record the time whichever time you want like using this and then what you can do is go to transition again and then apply the same time right up on this and just in case you want this slide to be like okay let's do this mm, like five okay let's say five and not on mouse click but now I'm gonna do is start this first now it's gonna change the slide in just 5.5 seconds and I didn't even use the navigation button neither the mouse it's gonna change see so that is how the advanced slide option works right here because that is obviously timing and if you also want to add in to like all of the slides just click on apply to all and all of them will be applied on the same type of thing yeah i'm um, sorry apply to all press f5 now it's going to change my bad it was on um after 0.5 my bad it became default after that now apply to all see without even using the navigation button all of the slides are changing from like again and again and I don't even have to use the navigation button neither the mouse so this is how you can add in sounds and also you can add in the time and use like advanced options and you can also use this like from animation that is also doable you can apply animations and other stuffs add in animation pane well all of these are doable if you want to like do these slides or record slideshow that is also doable you can also record from the beginning rehearse timings well obviously all of them are doable so you don't have to worry any of about it okay another thing what you have to learn about is opening or using the slideshow okay if you want like start the slideshow from the beginning just press on f5 or just go to slideshow and then start from beginning or also at the bottom right you can also see the slideshow that is that also starts the slideshow from the beginning of the slide that is also doable but if you want to start a slide from the current slide or whichever slide you want an example i'm on the fourth slide and i want to start start the slide from this one just click on shift and f5 and it will open up from this one okay then Another thing you can also do is custom slideshows. 
Well, custom slideshows allows you to make custom slideshows on specific slides. Okay, I'm gonna click on it and show you how you're gonna do that. Custom slideshows, new, it's gonna open a pop-up. Now I'm gonna do is in case I want three, six, 13, 14, and 15. Just these six are four, okay? These fives, only these fives, uh, which I wanna show, but other ones are not gonna be shown. So I'm gonna do is, you can see that the five of them are here right now, and you can also sort them in a case required funding, I wanna move it down. So it's gonna be the fourth one now. I'm gonna press on okay, and I'm gonna do is show. Now it's gonna show you only those five ones which I selected, okay? I can see that this is how custom slideshow works in PowerPoint presentation. And obviously, if you want to add the sounds on them, so you don't have to add slides differently, just what you can do is select on whichever slides you're going to show and apply the sound from here. An example, I want this one on here. 15, 14, now I'm gonna add not the whoosh, but the camera here. And on 13, I'm gonna add as arrow. And I'm gonna do is go to slideshow, custom slideshow again, slide custom slideshow one. And I can see, you will see that they will have different sounds now. See? So this is how you can add different or like custom sounds and background music in your PowerPoint presentation. Thank you for seeing this lesson. Hope you understood everything. Well, that is it for this lesson.